Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana and today I am back. I've pretty much been through almost all the families in this town besides the Caliente family. I know there's also the oldies and I think there might be another family I haven't played with. But today is the Caliente episode and I'm really curious how this is going to turn out because Mortimer has actually died. I randomly got interrupted and now I don't know what my last thought was, but I was probably being an idiot because I do that very often. I'm very curious how this is going to turn out because Mortimer has died in my goth family let's play. So let me read what the Caliente um, bio says. Was it just coincidence that the Caliente sisters arrived on the eve of Bella's disappearance? And is their interest in Mortimer physical or fiscal? Is it for the money or for the love? Now, like I said, Mortimer has died. So I am really interested to see how things are gonna go. But let's just load up the family and uh, let's see what <laughs> what's good. Going into this family is a little bit different. Let's just take a look at their, you know, their ones and um, what they're all about because I've never really invested much time in the Caliente sisters. I don't remember much about them. So let's see what they're all about. So let's start with Nina Caliente. She is an adult and her lifetime wish is to become the best in the athletics career. Wow, you would almost think she is perfect for Dawn. Set her hobby to, um, are we were Nina, right? Yeah, Nina hobbies. The one hobby will be sports. Oh my God, it's it's a it's sports. Oh, it is interesting. But um, I guess sports is close enough. Let's give her a job. Take a deeper look in her <laughs> in her relationships. So she is very much in love with Dawn. They don't have much attraction to each other, but they're very much in love. Quite interesting to see is that she doesn't have the best relationship with Dina. She has a relationship with Katie, with Bo and Dustin and these two random people. So nothing really spectacular. Now she has a job. She has two body skills and a cleaning skill. Chemistry, her turn on are, um, her turns on, her turn ons are aware gray hair she doesn't like creative people so she doesn't like she would never like darren take a look at her sister dina so dina wants to become a city planner very interesting she actually wants to have the same job as her name the wife of daniel pleasant mary sue i'm gonna help her out and get her a job in that as well so let's get her a job in the architecture career let's be an intro it's going to be interesting when she starts working with them um, with Mary Sue, but I guess Mary Sue is close to um, promotion. I well, not close to promotion, close to retirement. So I'm sure that that's um, I guess it's gonna help out for <laughs> it's probably for the best for us, so we don't have to be put up with her. I don't think Nina, Dina Caliente, and Mary Sue could be very good friends. I don't really think it's in them for them. Well, let's see what else she has. She has two charisma points and a creativity skill meaning that her sister her sister nina is more athletic and dina is more socially skilled yeah that's what that's what it means so let's take a look at her relationships so she has like i said a poor relationship with her sister she has she's attracted to herbert goody which is really weird i guess because i didn't think she would be actually it makes all the more makes all sense it makes the most sense of everything it makes i was gonna say something that made grum like the, that was that made sense but um yeah it makes sense because she was also into mortimer so she does have a love for old people and their money i think that's just how it is but i also like to believe that she truly loved mortimer so at least mortimer loved her so i hope it was mutual that would make my heart feel a little less heavy. She's also into Dawn. I can only imagine that the sisters are fighting over Dawn. Um, not knowing that Dawn is fighting over the whole town. You know, all the women are fighting over him. She's turned on by blonde hair, mechanical, and she doesn't like accessories very much. So yeah, that's kind of all I can tell by their personalities. Let me just see what her, what her hobby enthusiasm is. So let's take a look at Dina hobbies. 
Okay, so it's nature. That's really interesting. But I don't think I want it to be nature. I... Hmm, nature. I don't... I don't know. Nature... I feel like she and Mortimer had that in common, nature. But I'm not so sure if I want to keep it like that. Because... I would like her. I don't know if I want her. I mean, she is not the type. Okay, so she is more of a gold digger, I feel. When I take a look at, you know, her relationship and the the attractions that she has, I like to believe that Dina is just an old school <laughs> gold digger and you should put some clothes on, you know, that is what girl, you've been wearing you've been walking around in your underwear for like half a day. I feel like it's about time that you put some clothes on. I do like to believe that her love for Don may be true. Cause Don is not old and he doesn't have a lot of money. So for her to love someone that doesn't have a lot of money and is not old, that old poor guy, some last happiness, take his money, it doesn't sound as bad. She tries to form a bond and relationship, so she's not that cruel. It's actually kind of fun to play Sam that likes them to be a gold digger because I feel like I could go so many ways, you know? Um, but her true love, I think, might be Don. She's kind of attracted to him, not super much, but I don't see it happening with Darren, not at all. Darren has his hots, has the hots for Cassandra and Brandy. It's never gonna happen. Now, unlike, you know, her sister Dina, Nina is very romance-based. So she likes Dawn, but she would like everyone else as well. Any kind of hot dude that she comes across, I'm pretty sure she will get it on with. That's just how she is. Nice. Our dad, Michael Bachelor, is... Um, I think Michael is our dad. Actually, not. Interesting. Oh, Michael Bachelor is our brother. Okay, interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, interesting. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> okay, so Bella Goth has a brother called Michael Bachelor. Michael Bachelor had a sibling. Oh, wait, this is getting confusing. So. Okay, so he. Wait, okay. What? <laughs> I look at their memories. I actually haven't done that. Oh! Oh, I see how it is. Oh, so Nina Caliente, did she marry him? Oh, Dina, Dina, Nina Caliente married. No, wait, Dina, Dina, Dina Caliente married Bella Goss' brother, making them technically family. I see how it is. Oh, I see how it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I see how it is. That's interesting. That's interesting, Dizzy. So uh, Dina was married. Dina is, like I said, a um. Yeah, I was right. Dina is a, um, why can't I figure out, I can't remember the word now. That's great, isn't it? Just, just, just lovely. Dina is a gold digger. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Dina is a gold digger. And Nina is just a serial romancer. So Nina's in it for the pussy cat. And Dina is in it for the money. I haven't really had a chance to really play with these girls, but she she wants to be friends with Dina, so I'm going to lock that. There'll be some rivalry going on around, um, revolving around Dawn between the girls, and it's kind of silly. The only friend that they have in common is Brandy, and they, they love her. They absolutely love her, but they don't really care much. Um, like, they don't mind sharing brandy, but I guess when it comes down to potato action, they, uh, all of a sudden they're like, oh no, I don't want to share Dawn with my sister, like, there's a rivalry going on, I don't know, it just seems really weird. It's kind of funny that she has the urn of Michael Bachelor here, I almost wonder if she would have loved to have <laughs> Mortimer's urn, it's like a, um, how do you say that, it's like a, a, a collection, you know, um, like a prize collection like of all the victims that she's had. I don't know. Anyway, so it is literally just focused a bit on getting to know these characters. And one of the first things I want is to crank up their relationship. Should be more... They should have a closer relationship. I just... I, I just don't get the vibe that they are... Oh no. Can you, Michael, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Can you just stop doing that? Thank you. Thanks, Nina, for cleaning up. I'm gonna put this urn. We can't do that. I'm gonna delete it if he keeps on being like this, honestly. 
I I I I don't get the vibe that Dina and Nina have a sister relationship like Angela and Lilith. So I really want them to be closer, and I kind of want them to uh, bury the, um, you know, begraaf de strijdbaal. I don't really know how to translate that. Like uh, bury the, the dirt that they have between them. Bury the 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 axe, the battle axe. <laughs> that sounds so weird. We translated. So uh, I I want them to have a bit of a better relationship. I I feel like if they had a better relation, like imagine. Dina takes the man, gets some money, and also improves Nina's life because Nina, you know, doesn't have to really do anything. If they were close, they could share the happiness of money and love together. But if you keep on fighting like this, Dina is gonna take all the money and run off with it, and Nina is just gonna be sad and alone. With all babies? I mean, man, not babies. Well, I guess if you call your man a baby. All right, so maybe I was a little too friendly. Nope, nope. You know, my attempts are not going very smooth. But I know when you click Hangout, your Sims all of a sudden they don't give a f, f apparently. Okay, well I guess I guess not, you guys. I guess it's not going to happen. Oh my gosh, I really wanted it to happen. I don't know whose bed is whose, but. I, I kind of want the Sims to pick a bet and to show me, you know, like show me where the money's at. Show me where your love is at. Are you really gonna watch your sister take a bath? I feel slightly uncomfortable. All right. So ever was a reason to dress two Sims in really hot outfits? It would be this. I have so much custom content that I, I'm just like, do I? You know, either dress my sims up like prunes or like sluts. There's literally no in between. And okay, maybe I exaggerate a little bit. Some of them is very casual. So some of them are very young, I guess. And then the clothing for whatever. I'm just making excuses now. Exploit this <laughs> this moment. This these sims will be everything I ever want. Oh, maybe not that dress. <laughs> I mean, they are they may be a little more daring. They, I'm having so much. Ooh, here I am bragging about dressing them in clothing that I would never really use on any other Sims yet, and here I am bragging about using clothes on these Sims that I haven't had a chance to use yet, and now I can't make up my mind, and I'm like, huh, my outfits are not as nude as I thought I had them. So this is gonna take literally forever. I'm just gonna see you guys back at the house. So the ladies are back home and I gave them a makeover. It took me a while to really find something that I really liked, but I think I found it. So I kind of switched up both Dina and Nina's styles. So because Nina is a romance sim, I thought maybe we should give her Dina's outfit and give Dina more of a party outfit, a bit more, a bit less revealing, I suppose. Because I feel like Dina is trying to get some man, some older man, some older gentleman, and Nina just wants to woohoo. So. That's my reason. <laughs> That's my reasoning why I thought perhaps changing your styles would be different. Now they still really want to be friends. But um, let me show you guys what the Sims look like. So this is what Dina looks like. I didn't change anything. I just slightly changed her features a little bit and gave her some makeup. So this is what she looks like. And why do I zoom out so far for this? I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna have her come downstairs and let's serve, um, let's make some cereal for Nina as well. Now Nina is still asleep. Do we have work? Oh no, we don't have work, of course. And we're gonna get her up as well, up and running. I finally found an outfit. Okay, so I downloaded this outfit and I really like it and it's perfect because I know it's custom content, but it kind of it kind of looks like it could be in the game or could have been in the game. 
So I don't feel as bad as putting my sim in her. And quite frankly, Nina pulls this off really nicely. There's just something about this sim that I'm just like, damn, she could totally, she could totally rock clothing like this. Okay, so we're gonna come downstairs and eat some breakfast together. I think that'll be nice for a change. I purchased a few more chairs and yes, I have been <laughs> starting on the redecorating of the house. You know that I don't really do color very much. So I wanna make this quite a um, beige, brownish house with maybe some accents here and there but we'll see how far i'm gonna take that but um okay so they're actually not gonna sit and eat, and eat together not surprised about that so let me show you guys what anina looks like so i kept her hair i was really trying to find a hairstyle that i really liked but i couldn't and um i also changed her eyebrows i'm not sure if i like it yet but she looks very youthful and i do like that so yeah that's what she looks like now you guys may have seen it but dina has actually lost her job so i gave her a job and she got fired pretty damn soon you guys i i can't believe it she ready to go fire? Oh, I'm yawning. Oops. We oh okay. She's coming up. She's gonna go all the way upstairs. So once we come back downstairs, we're gonna watch some TV. Not going very smooth, is it? And then I want her to take a bath. Now most let's plays, I really do start with an episode where I just take a look at The Sims, but I kind of would like to. Do something different for this part so i thought we could actually throw a party which is not something i do very often i mean neither of them are really pleasure sims so i don't really care much about it but i'm really interesting to see interested to see the relationship they have with dawn so that made me want to throw a party so we can throw either new year's bash or throw a party um how about we just throw a house party um, I want to do it now because Dina is not employed and Nina is in fact, um, has in fact a job. Bo, why would you imagine inviting Bo over? That would be a little weird. I am going to invite Don over. I don't actually, I'm not going to invite Darren Dreamer over. That would be so weird and he doesn't really know any of the girls so it wouldn't make sense i would like to invite herbert but i don't think his wife is gonna be okay with that so let's just throw one party we're gonna invite dawn over i know it seems silly like we're throwing an entire party and it's just dawn but hey i'm down for that so i think i should get the girls in their formal wear actually i think that'll be fun just have a party wear their formal wear Get the thing started, you know how it is. We're gonna get some music going, so turn the music on. I think it's just going to be a very fun, a very fun party. Oh, there's Donnie. Oh, Don is so nice. He just lets himself in just like that. Oh, oh no, wait, we did that. I was like, oh, Don is coming over to admire us, but I forgot that that was actually something we did. Start making some drinks. I actually wanted to change into my formal wear. Come on. Come on. There we go. Much better. Don I like how Don has just come over and helped himself to a bag of chips. Just 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 great Don. I I Don Don is a character on its own. Oh, I really like this dress actually. I think it looks really nice. Maybe we're playing a little hard, but um let's see. I think we have a better relationship with Don than Nina does, which is kind of fun. But I want the party to happen upstairs. So why don't we call him over and then we can just bring ourselves upstairs and then take a drink. Oh, there he is. I was like, Don, 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 baby, can you get yourself a drink? I, I, to be honest, I wonder whether or not Don is going to Oh no, Don is going to strip! Okay, so you guys, I got this stripper pole because I was like... Okay, I have this. This is from an 18 plus haul. This is technically a stripper pole. I mean, it is a stripper pole. It's not technically one. It is one. And I just thought it would be hilarious if I put it in the girl's house because it's just so funny. 
done. I I didn't actually expect anyone to go on there without me making them. So that's I think even more fun about it. Oh, this is hilarious. So we actually want to play with her, so I might just tickle her. Okay. <laughs> okay, I feel bad for Dawn because Oh, he stopped? Oh no, never mind. He's like, girls, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get naked anytime soon now. You guys just wait for it. There he goes. There, there, there. Oh, wait. It was so exciting. The game was like, no, we're not gonna zoom in on that. There it is. There is Don shaking his little tush. Having the best time of his life. Now, this is not exactly supposed to be like an orgy party or something. You know, something 18 plus, but... Uh, <laughs> Ooh, who can resist? Who can who can resist, right? I'm actually kind of worried that if I were to do, oh god, if I were to do anything specific with with Dawn at the moment, that he, um, I'm I'm worried that there's going to be some um, sibling rivalry. So let's see where Dawn is gonna get. Oh, Dawn is gonna get in between, of course. He's like, ladies, me first. <laughs> it's actually been a while since Don has left the house. He's obviously been married now and a lot of things have happened. So it's definitely been... It's definitely been a little bit of a, um, a change for him. And he and Dina used to hang out so often. But he's actually been a really good boy and he hasn't done that in a while. But he can't really stop himself and he really 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 wants to well I don't know what he's telling what he's telling Dinina at the moment, but she is not Okay with it. I think they're talking about sports. I don't think that's something she's like hurry up girl hurry up I want to talk to Dawn. Dawn is my man. Oh my god. She is she is in disapproval <laughs> Okay, so she really wants to woohoo in a bed and it looks like actually it looks like Nina doesn't have one and Nina conveniently has to go to work. Oh my god, I love this bathing suit. The team looks absolutely perfect. So I think we're actually gonna have some fun now. So let's cuddle. It's actually perfect so that she can't really get jealous or anything. So let's cuddle a little bit. We've obviously missed Miss Dawn and I'm not if Mortimer has passed away. It's kind of weird because Dina was snogging both Dawn and Mortimer, and Dawn knew this. Mortimer didn't, but Dawn knew this, of course. So it's um, let me just take a picture. <laughs> so it's definitely a little bit of a weird time for them now. However, at the same time, these two have always had a bit of a special bond, and there's something about Dina that makes. Dawn almost unable to to resist her and it's kind of funny because he really does love Cassandra like when I look at Dawn and Cassandra I'm like yeah they truly do love each other but there's something about Dawn and Dina as well that is just almost perfect like I don't know if their marriage potential but there is something about them that just works so well together and I'm actually not even sure if Dina is a family sim because I feel like she could be a family sim, you know? I feel like she could actually be one. But she's just very open in her relationships and she's actually not really afraid to make out with a bunch of people and not commit, which is kind of nice in a way. I know a lot of people have had Dina and Dawn have a baby as well, but I honestly don't think Dawn would do that right now. Like, I know their marriage like the marriage of Cassandra or Dawn is pretty shit. It's a pretty big facade and <laughs> it's a pretty big lie. However, they're still married and Dawn has some sense of duty and he's still in it for the kids. I truly believe that he's in it for the kids and he's trying to be a good man, but the longer and the more time passes, the more he realizes that he really just enjoys just time and, and the opportunity to do whatever he wants. But part of him is super, I'm just doing why I'm doing this. <laughs> but I think like he's really, he does really like his children. And I don't know. Oh. 
Vovó vazio! Okay, I'm okay, I'm gonna have to sit like this because all of a sudden my sim just got really nude and I'm like not up for that. So let's just um have to, you know, make out a little bit or whatever. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. <laughs> Why did she decide to get nude? I'm honestly okay, we're just gonna look like this, okay? That's this is the only way I can make it really work. <laughs> Dawn surprisingly really enjoyed having a kid with Cassandra despite that he thought it was going to force him into a marriage um, for the marriage to last longer than he intended it to and he felt like it was harder to break up with Cassandra but now that he has a kid and there's another one on the way he's like strangely excited for the kid and that's why he's like um oh boy oh boy I feel like the excitement of being a dad um, is definitely keeping him in the relationship but being here with Dina it just feels so incredibly right so I think like once his kids are born he's probably going to do what feels best and go back to his bachelor his bachelor life and have fun with with Dina and Nina I'm just not sure how Dina feels about it like she knows that her and her sister are both really you know they're both they they're they're both hanging out okay she's not oblivious she knows that dawn is as much as um flirting with her as he is with her sister so it is a bit of a weird situation i suppose because even though dina knows that she knows dawn the longest and she's the closest with dawn and she's having the most fun and the most whatever she also knows very well that dawn you know is a serial romancer and that she is in no way special in no way is she special there's nothing special about their relationship at all because he does this with so many women the only special relationship he has is with cassandra because he loves her and for some reason married her which is something that he could never do Come on do you really have to be stuck okay well i guess this is the way it's going to be either way i don't oh my god she's so pretty Either way, you guys, I don't know what the relationship is with Dina and Dawn. I don't know how it is in her head. She seems strangely okay with the fact that he's, you know, messing around with everyone and she does the same. It must be refreshing to have a boyfriend that uh, is not old. I think that's really refreshing. I mean, if she can date old people for their money, I'm sure she can date a younger boy that screws half of the town. I'm pretty sure like there's nothing that's nothing strange about it so i'm not really sure how the relationship is going to evolve but you guys i am kind of worried because she's not necessarily a romance sim so she could technically settle down one day and want to settle down one day and i think she does want to settle down one day but i'm worried that it's going to she go she's going to want to do it with dawn and Dawn is never going to be able to settle down. It would be something like an open relationship, but if that is what she wants, and who, who knows, like maybe, I know it sounds strange, this is all speculation, but maybe one day, um, maybe one day Dina can actually marry her. Oh, she's still thinking about Mortimer, that's so sweet. Maybe one day Dina can actually marry Dawn, and Dawn can marry her and then they can have some children because I know that Dawn does really like children and just like he did with Cassandra have a marriage and have some children only the only difference is Cassandra is not going to be okay with him cheating and she doesn't really know yet whereas Dina would be okay with it and I feel like that's the only way that they can have a relationship but I'm not really sure I feel like it would be kind of sad if she had a life with a man a whole marriage with a man that's based on you know i guess a lot of things but not commitment like commitment is definitely <laughs> not one of them um however for nina like i don't you know 
I don't really know. I don't think she really particularly finds him super interesting. I don't really think she cares much about him in general. She just wants to woohoo with everyone and goes on dates. So I don't think Nina and Dawn really have a special relationship. But I could be wrong, of course. Um, but yeah, guys, that is this episode. I'm just going to let this party happen. All right, Roof Razor. Ooh, we had a great party. Unfortunately, Dawn is stuck, so I'm going to have to. Okay, well, I. Uh, okay, Dawn. I need Dawn to be. Okay, well, maybe if I can get him. he He's very stuck, isn't he? Can we teleport? Well, I'll just have to fix this off screen, you guys. But those are some of my thoughts. Maybe a bit of. A bit disorganized but those are my thoughts for this family let me know what you think and i'll see you guys in my next part bye guys